welcome back to my channel code with neha so today i am back with another interesting topic hope you all will like it so without any further delay let's get started in my previous video of my skill series i have discussed about the constraints in my skill such as non null unique constraints so today i am going to discuss primary key and foreign key constraints so let's get started the primary key constraint uniquely identifies each record in a table primary key must contain unique values and cannot contain null values A table can have only one primary key and in the table this primary key can consist of single or multiple columns or fields. So let us check out an example of primary key. So this is a student table with roll number, name, age and GPA. As we can see there are different roll numbers with different names of the student age and GPA. Here in this table the name, age and GPA can be repetitive. like aryan and anuj both can be of the age 25 or sachin and prince can have same gpa of 4 so which columns have the unique values that will be the roll number so we can set the roll number as our primary key so for every students there will be one unique roll number which will not be repetitive or duplicate Let's check the syntax of primary key. So, to set a primary key in a table, we can use the syntax in two ways. We use the create table syntax with the table name that we want. Then, we define the column name with their data types. We can have as many column that we require. and lastly we define the primary key that is the column which we call as primary key or we use the create table syntax with the table name that we want then we define the first column with data type as primary key then followed by the remaining columns with their data type please note that this syntax is only for creating table before using create table we use create database then use database
now if you already have a table and you want to set a column as primary key you can use the alter command so for this we write the command as alter table for this we write the command as alter table and the table name where you want to add the primary key and the syntax add primary key with the column name Similarly, if you want to drop a primary key, we use the similar syntax as the above, but here we just use drop primary key instead of add primary key. Now let us see what is foreign key. A foreign key is a field or collection of fields in one table that refers to the primary key in another table. Foreign key is used to link two tables together. The table with the foreign key is called the child table and the table with the primary key is called the referenced or parent table.
so here is an example of that we will discuss foreign key in details in my upcoming videos so stay tuned to follow the content you found my content informative and if it's so then don't forget to subscribe my channel code with neha for more such informative videos so stay tuned and subscribe this